Excuse me, ma'am. My name's Harry. Can I help you? Who knows if you can help me? I have to buy a computer, and I'd rather not. Well, uh, maybe we can sort this out if you just tell me what you'd I like know, to I know, I know. What are my needs? I've been to 14 computer stores. You'd think I'd know my needs by now. Well, are they uh, business or personal? What did you mean by that? Uh, nothing. Not a, not a thing. Oh. It's time to own them back. When you're in sales, you got to have a back. To know your products from the smallest bites to the big highlights, all the tricks and tools of the trade. With the Mac on your side, you'll turn the sales tide. With what you know, you know you're going to have it made. You ought to own them back. You'll never want to take your SE back. If your computer is a Macintosh, it will fit right in. Gosh, your presentation's at class. Now you'll have what you need to follow every lead. How you'll impress the brass. You will really wow them. It's time you own the Mac. Well, it looks like Harry's lost. <laughs> I got two sure leads I can close with just a phone call. Jay, I don't know how you do it. A secret sales weapon, my dear. Charm. Care for a sample? Excuse me. I just stayed. Hi, guys. Well, if it isn't Mr. Mac himself, spend another evening with your Macintosh last night? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. We had a terrific time. Oh. <clears throat> Anybody want to ask me about my date with Twinkie? No. Oh. Oh, Karen, it's that uh, customer I gave you. And uh, try and close this time, will you, sweet patootie? Give her a break, will you, Jay? Are you telling me how to talk to women? You must be kidding. And you haven't had a date in six months. Every time you go near a beautiful girl, you break out in a rash. I mean, OK, OK, I'm just a little shy. Just leaves me some time to do some work. Right. <laughs> Okay, a salesman of the 20th century. I bet neither one of you can close this sale. What's the problem, Karen? This customer's been in eight times. Keeps asking a million questions, but I just can't get to a close. I've tried everything. I may be new, but I know when I've been set up. Well, uh, what system is he interested in? Harry, you don't understand. It's not... No, 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 no. wait. <clears throat> what do you say we make a little side wager here? Fifty bucks says Mr. Mac here can't close the deal either. What do you say, Harry? Fifty? Make it a hundred. I mean, anyone who's been in eight times is going to buy, right? And I can sell them. Harry, but I'm trying to tell no, you no, that no, 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 no. I accept. You're on. <laughs> Harry, you boomba. I'm trying to tell you it's that blonde woman. You know, the one that's been asking about MS DOS. And while I'm out there, Ken, you can log this uh, sale. And did you say that blonde woman? That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, God. It's her. Excuse me, ma'am. My name's Harry. Can I help you? Who knows if you can help me? I have to buy a computer, and I'd rather not. Well, uh, maybe we can sort this out if you just tell me what you'd I like know, to do. I know, I know. What are my needs? I've been to 14 computer stores. You'd think I'd know my needs by now. Well, are they, uh... Business or personal? What did you mean by that? Uh, nothing. Not a, not a thing. First, she's just the kind of woman that intimidates him. Yep. Second, she's a crazy person anyway. Yep. And third... And third, he's lost. He's out a hundred bucks. Mr. Max strikes out. <laughs> now, where's that phone number I was going to call? You know, Jay, you're a real... Hey, what's this? I work for Rowan International. We're very conservative. I have a new department and... Wait! Before you jump to conclusions, I have to warn you. I've seen every MS-DOS compatible on the market. And I still can't decide. Have you considered the Apple Macintosh? Well, that's what you all say. But Rowan's got lots of MS-DOS machines. And an IBM mainframe. We've got to communicate. Well, there is no communication barrier. 
Now, with the uh, Macintosh, that is. I mean, with the Macintosh, you're not going to exchange files with MS-DOS machines or mainframes. I've helped uh, several people in your situation before. It's been quite a... Prove it. Let's see this on a Mac. Sometime before dinner would be nice. No problem. This is the Dana file drive from Dana Communications. Your MS-DOS disk shows up here on the screen. And with MacLink translation software, I simply convert your WordStar document and open it with Microsoft Word. The same thing happens with converting Lotus 1, 2, 3 to Excel files. In fact, the work you create with most MS-DOS software can be translated and used by Macintosh applications. Well, it's a nice display, but I... Over a million Mac owners couldn't agree more. And what's really important, now the data's here. We have what's called the Macintosh Advantage. You can do so much more with it. Now, watch. Enhancing text, for example. Wait a minute. You mean last night, after we all left, he sold a whole Apple... That's right, a whole Apple system. Five SCs, a Laser Writer Plus, five Mac stands, Apple Share, a scanner, and five pieces of software. <laughs> no fair. Sales after hours don't count. Not only that, but at full retail. Well, I still got him beat. Hands down, you'll see. Just as soon as I find these two numbers to call... Better hurry. Harry's not doing half bad out there. Now, here's a spreadsheet from Excel, the most powerful spreadsheet program on any personal computer. Now, I'll copy the chart, and I'll bring up your report, and paste it in. Now, see how easy it is to cut and paste from one application to another? And all Macintosh programs work this way. And look how impressive your document looks now. Okay, okay, it looks nice. But what if I want to run some MS-DOS programs without translating them? Well, most people just want their data available. But if you have a custom program that you You guessed it. Some custom applications that Rowan paid a lot of money for. And I might have to use them. Well, that's no problem. The new Macs are expandable. We can add a coprocessor card that'll turn your Mac into a dual machine running both Macintosh and MS-DOS programs. You mean I can have two computers in one? Sure. How come you know so much about this? Well, I do own a Mac. Oh, biased, huh? It works very well for me. Karen, have you seen a little yellow slip of paper? I think it was a napkin. It had a phone. What's that? Oh, just some customer follow-up letters. What, are you working late nights, too? <laughs> Not me. Ever heard of Working Smart? That's Harry's new cat program. Contacts, activities, time. Sweet patootie. You've probably heard by now about desktop publishing on a Mac system. Well, sure, but MS-DOS machines have that now, too. <laughs> I'm afraid Apple is still way, way ahead. There's still no easy or cheap way for MS-DOS machines to share a laser printer. But using Apple Talk, your department can have 12, 20, 30 Macintoshes all sharing the same laser writer, making the price per user extremely low and with much more capability. And Apple's well into the second generation of graphics and page layout programs. For example, there's nothing like Adobe Illustrator available on MS-DOS yet. Now look at these flowing lines here. We're talking publication quality. Desktop publishing is a lot more advanced on the Mac also. The second generation page layout programs can save you a fortune in graphics and layout cost. And once again, the uh, cut and paste features apply across the board. So you can copy sections from any of your applications into documents like these. Yeah, well, it looks great. But I'm understaffed. Who has time to learn all of that? Well. You do. I mean, if you want to. That's the difference between Macintosh and MS-DOS. I'll bet you can learn to make one of these here in just a few minutes. Me? I couldn't. We're going to use a program called Cricket Draw. Have a seat. I need a program to do my job. Where is that number? Ah, Twinkie. Hello. Where is it? Ah. Here it is. See? The failsafe J. Perkins system. <laughs> Jonathan Weiss, First National Bank, 856. Oh, no. Got wet. Another neat thing Cricket Draw does is rotate text and graphics. Now find your rotating tool. Now see how intuitive Cricket Draw is? 
All Macintosh applications have a consistent interface. So once you learn one, the next one's a snap. That means your new department will be more productive right away. Now, let's finish the title page. Hey, look what I did. Nobody's ever done anything like this before on our MS-DOS machines. The output of Cricut Draw is incredible. It really makes your presentation kind of stand out, you know? I used Cricut Draw last week to make a presentation to a pretty large company. They went nuts. You get the sale? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, right. Well, I can see that it's, it's very useful and easy to learn. Jay Perkins. Mr. Weiss. Oh, I'm so glad you called, sir. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, sir? Oh, that's great, sir. <laughs> Look, uh, about that um, <clears throat> piece of software that you ordered, sir, that the, uh, uh, it's, um, I, uh, I haven't got your order here in front of me, sir. Uh, you, you wouldn't know offhand what it is, sir, would you? Uh, it's a uh, tip of my tongue. I... Hello, Mrs. Lee. One moment, let me pull up your file. How are things at Periscope? When I spoke to you last Wednesday, I said I would check on that cable delivery date. Well, I did, and they said it was shipped on Monday, so we should be getting it tomorrow at the latest. I'll call you then, Mrs. Lee. Yes, <laughs> thank you. I do track my orders on my computer. I use a program called CAT by Chang Lambs. No, it's not just for salespeople. It works for anyone who needs to keep contact and activity lists. Sure, we can add to that order. This is a great looking report. But sometimes I have to give presentations with, with slides and overheads. You wouldn't have something to help with that. <laughs> I'm glad you asked that. PowerPoint, I used it last week myself, it's terrific. And it makes terrific overheads and charts and slide presentations. The powerful thing about it is, it treats your presentation as a whole so you can make global changes, like uh, add a logo to your slides. And this light table feature allows you to resort your slides. Moving all notes intact. Well, I can see it's a powerful organizational tool. But how do these become overheads? Well, there are several options. Excuse me. PowerPoint can make your overheads right on the laser writer. And it'll print your speaker's notes. And even make miniature versions of your slides so you can hand them out to your audience. Wow, this is amazing. This would really save my department time. Yeah, and with the Apple Share file server, everybody in your department can access the same files electronically. Contacts, activities, and time. Heads up, it's Chip. Uh, quick, quick, give me that, uh, that, uh, software. Software, sir. right, yeah, I've got a earlier, uh, plane. Uh, plane, that's right, thank you very much. Ooh, what's Harry doing with your customer out there, huh? <laughs> uh, I... Listen, I'm going to be out of town for the whole week, so I've decided to close the, uh... Contest, sir? Contest, that's right. I've decided to close it at noon today. Noon? But, but, but that's in five minutes, sir. Oh. Well, that's about it, Robin. Any more questions? Well, if I take this, will you be around to answer any questions later? Sure. But that's one of the great things about Macintosh. People don't have to come back with too many questions. That's too bad. I wouldn't mind seeing you again. Um, well, I don't mind either. I mean, seeing you. Um, maybe I should get the software and accessories we were talking about. I'll take it all. <clears throat> well, well, how nice to see you again, miss. <laughs> Did my uh, assistant find you everything you needed? Well, yes, he took care of... No, why don't you just let me take care of all this messy paperwork, all right? <laughs> Enjoy your system. Since Harry and I will be in the Valley tomorrow, we've cross-checked all our other accounts by zip code. And we have a list of other accounts to call on while we're in the area tomorrow. CAT allows you to cross-reference by almost anything. That's terrific. Let's uh, go grab... Uh, uh, Harry? Harry, yeah, yeah. I'd like to find out more about this. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. I think your cab is here, and our time is up. <laughs> I just closed a complete Mac system on that blonde out there. Oh.
Well, I guess you won. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Jay. <laughs> Salesman of the year. Uh, oh. Of the year. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I guess that's a thousand bucks I owe you then, uh -huh. huh? Now, where's that, that checkbook? Thanks again, Robin. Don't forget your receipt. It's been a real pleasure. I'm sure. Yeah. See you tomorrow, Harry. Tomorrow, huh? Don't tell me you got a date. <laughs> well, too bad you didn't win this. You could have taken her someplace nice. No, not a date. She just bought 10 more systems for her department. Our dates. Not till Friday. Now it's up to you. Hold your own back. And now you can't afford to turn your back. Cause if you need to beat it, MS DOS files. Your Mac is all smiles. The Mac advantage in you. When you know the details, you make complete sales. Your demos for them, never bore them. That's true. It's time to own them back. If you don't have one, you might feel held back. It's time to listen to your intuition. Beat the competition. You're not what you on the track. Now that you know the facts, go out and buy a Mac. Go get a Macintosh, Apple computer. It's time you own.